Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. We're doing a little bit of a throwback type video. I mentioned in my last video where I wrapped up all the horror novels and movies that I've read lately that I am going to Ecuador. I asked you all in the comments if you all wanted a quicker highlights video or a longer chatty video. You see what one, so that's what you're getting. I'm going with my boyfriend. I'm gonna guess he's probably not gonna be on camera talking. It's just uncomfortable for anyone who doesn't make YouTube videos. Maybe you'll see him, maybe you won't. But just a warning that I'm gonna be awkward when I eventually am with him on the trip because it's so uncomfortable to vlog in front of someone else if you're not used to it. But it's Thursday, November 3rd, around 9.30 a.m. Our flight's at noon and we'll get to Quito around, I think, 8 p.m. Here is the super high-level itinerary of what we're doing, but this is a trip unlike anything I've ever done before. I'm backpacking. And since, as you saw, we're going around so many places, we didn't want to deal with suitcases. So this is the big backpack I'm taking and this is just my little plain personal. I'm gonna be here in just a couple minutes, so I've got to go. Quito. The place is very... We've made it to Quito. I'm attempting to vlog with Chris right there, but it's making me uncomfortable. The, the place is... <laughs> I can't do this in front of you. No, I'm still recording. It's fine. We've made it to the Airbnb. It's very quiet here, so I feel the need to whisper. Saturday, I'm back at the Quito airport. So clearly I was terrible at vlogging the first day, but I'll be better starting now. But yesterday we spent the whole day exploring Quito, the historic center. The main thing we did, which was very fun, but also took a very long time because it's a holiday. So the lines are very long, was we did the cable car so we could see all of Quito and hike around up there. We also found a great brewery, but, but today we woke up early. All this happened so far as we finally tried one of the Day of the Dead bread babies, which are filled with sweet cream. This was one of filmed with pineapple jolly, which is so good. But we're at the Quito airport, ready to fly to the Galapagos. And we're excited about Quito, we're excited about Banos so much, but the Galapagos is something we were just, I don't know, I can't even fathom what it's gonna be like. So I can't wait to go. And I absolutely loved the Airbnb we were in. It was in the historic center. It had incredible views of the city. So I'll insert a little clip of that in case any of you are gonna go to Quito and wanna stay there, but Miguel was super helpful. <laughs> Devices must be in rocket mode if not the fuel is substance. We are in Santa Cruz. It was two plane flights, then a bus, then a ferry, then a bus, then walking, and we're here at the hostel. We just walked around, saw a bunch of sea lions. I nearly stepped on one because they're just everywhere and I almost stepped right on his face. But tomorrow's gonna be a really long day. We're gonna go to Pinzon and snorkel with sharks. So it should be incredible. We're both feeling pretty dead. It was just a really long day of travel, but I will show you a little bit around the hostel. We're at Hostel Morning Glory. So it's just one little room, but the nice thing is actually the outside with all the hammocks. So peaceful.
it's now Sunday around 4 30 p.m ish if I look like I'm swaying it's because I'm in a hammock I'm sitting and reading outside the hostel but just trying to relax a little bit today was wonderful but we were out all day snorkeling but we swam with giant sea turtles there were sharks <laughs> and the fish looked like they were straight out of Lisa Frank but Chris just got back from getting some stuff and he kindly bought me some chocolate which Ecuador is known for so I can't wait to eat some of this I have to say the hostel dog here Osa is the most tranquil dog I've ever encountered and I just want to steal her. But tonight is going to be our first night where we're going to go out get some drinks and again we're on Santa Cruz get dinner. See so you have the little area over there where if you want to cook your own food you can. Some nice bananas which we've been eating a lot of not these of course just throughout the trip. And then that is the room we are staying in. I'm reading what is it called Hyde which is fun for what it is <laughs> but maybe I'll review it at some point. San Cristobal and about to do the 360 tour and the tour guides are all watching me so I'm making this very quick but today is going to be a full day going around the entirety of San Cristobal Island. We have the tourists here for five to six years. The babies are on the program to restore the species, the species of Floriana. So same thing as... Tirados pies, tirados pies. Eso. Ah, same. Más. Oh, It feels crazy to say, but it is our last full day in the Galapagos. We got back from San Cristobal yesterday. We took the ferry at 7 a.m. We're back on Santa Cruz because this is where the main airport is. We can fly back to Quito tomorrow. Chris is watching me. <laughs> no, no, he's filming me record. 
Anyway, I can't do the situation with you watching. But yesterday we went to the Darwin Research Center, which was really cool. And today we're hiking a little bit to go to Las Grietas, which is some really cool snorkeling, not to see sea life, but more so to see really clear water in these really interesting, really narrow cliffs. Six feet. Ah. However, we have sometimes nice feet. Ah. It's deep water, about 10 meters is the deepest part. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We are back in Quito. We didn't do much yesterday. It was really just a really long travel day of flights and buses. But right now we're at the bus station in Quito and we're about to go on a three hour bus ride to Banos, which is what we've been really looking forward to. It's a small city right on the border of the Amazon. And so it's a lot of outdoor activities and rafting and canyoning and all that stuff. But I'm kind of looking forward to just sitting and seeing the countryside for a long time. We arrived in Banos yesterday and I can already sense this is going to be one of my favorite things we do on the trip, but we're staying at a hostel called Cafe Hood. I'll insert some images of it here, but it's absolutely adorable and it's above a really great restaurant. Link down below. Again, I'm obviously paying full price. I'm just recommending the places I really liked on this trip. But yesterday we swung on this, you know, swings at the end of the world. It was kind of rainy, but it was really nice and fun. And today we're doing something we've been really excited about, which is Ruta de Cascadas. I hope I'm saying that right but it's the route with all of the different waterfalls. And one of the big ones called Devil's Cauldron looks like something straight out of a Game of Thrones. So I am so excited. Huh? 
the other ones. This is way better. Muy chistoso. <laughs> This is December 20th editing Katie popping in. For the second half of the day after whitewater rafting, we went to this outdoor adult type adventure park. And what's about to be shown might look kind of scary, but also, but also keep in mind that all of the directions given to us in terms of how to clip and unclip when you're up really high were given to us in Spanish. And while our conversational Spanish is great, um, we don't know the words for zip lining in Spanish. So just keep that in mind and you'll understand how terrifying this was, but obviously all the guides were really great. From our final day in Ecuador. I haven't filmed, well I've been filming but I haven't spoken to the camera in a couple days but right now we had our last couple days in Banos and I didn't film the final full day because we did so much and a lot of it I couldn't film. But whitewater rafting we went climbing and zip lining and then we went to the thermal baths and all those things you can't film obviously as you're doing them but the whitewater rafting was incredible. Most of it, they said, was a solid level four. It apparently goes up to level six, and there's one part that was level five. We were with a few different boats, and one of them completely flipped, and people were crying and fell out, and the guides had to pull them back in. It was pretty intense, but we did well, and it was very fun. We have our last day here in Quito. We got here yesterday with a three-hour bus from Banos back to Quito. Spent the night at the Secret Garden Hostel, and we just finished a three-hour tour of Quito, so I'll insert that here. here. You can do the experiment, okay? You can look in local people and ask, hey, do you know the fun name of the building? And Let's go, chicos. Right now we are going to visit a secret place. Yep, listen, Anita, no problem. Okay, so tell me, do you like or do you love chocolates? <laughs> I mean, I don't like them. Yeah. It's been an incredible trip. As you can see this here, I'm just, maybe you can see in my arm, I'm covered in mosquito bites. It's just, poor Chris. I was not in a great mood. What was it, yesterday? Because my the left side of my body is just covered. But anyway, we are again right outside the National Basilica, so I will go ahead and show you all that here. Sit over there, it's a I'm out of breath because I just walked up a lot of fights. No way, then. No, we more DS. <laughs> Going all the way to the top. Am I? <laughs> You don't know about backwards? You can just grip with your hands, step back slowly. Doing great. Colin? My See. Okay, do you say? Yeah, it's not a poco cansado. <laughs> 